Hello, it's Trevor from Plateau Astro, and I hope you're getting excited for the upcoming Monday, April 8th total solar eclipse that is coming to Montreal. In this video, I'm going to show you a preview, an animation of what we're actually going to see from Montreal on that day. And the other thing I'm going to show is a play-by-play -play of how to use your solar eclipse glasses. Now, hopefully you already have a pair of these, and for most of the eclipse, you're going to have to wear these in order to look at the sun. But there's a moment where you can take off your eclipse glasses and see the moon as it fully blocks at the sun during totality. So uh, I have a video here. It's a panorama uh, that I've taken from the plateau. So you can see the mountain there with the cross and you can see the sun up above it. And I have a close up of the sun uh, that will eventually be blocked uh, by the moon. So I'm gonna press play here. And at this point, you need to have your solar eclipse glasses on. It's 2 p.m. and I have set a time lapse in motion here. And it's gonna feel like an ordinary day until 2.14 p.m. And this is the moment that the moon will start blocking out some of the sun. It'll start taking a bite out of it. So you need to have your eclipse glasses on for this point. Now, I've sped up time here, uh, so it uh, goes a little bit more rapidly. Um, and you don't have to watch the eclipse every single moment, but I would recommend about every five or 10 minutes, go outside, put your eclipse glasses on, look at the sun, and look at the difference and see how much of the sun gets blocked out every few minutes. Again, it'll feel like an ordinary day until about 3 p.m. And that's when it'll actually start getting visibly darker in Montreal. It might actually drop a few degrees. And if you're high up enough, at about 3.10, 3.15 p.m., if you look around the horizon, you're gonna to start to see a 360 degree sunset. It is a very strange experience. Some of the animals might think it's actually nighttime at this point uh, and start going through their uh, nighttime bedtime routine. And right now we're just a few minutes away from the eclipse. You need your eclipse glasses still on for this point, okay? The totality is gonna start at 3.26 p.m. and 45 seconds thereabouts in Montreal. You need your eclipse glasses on for this point, on, 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 until right about now, and you can take it off, and we're in the moment of totality. The moon is fully blocked at the sun, and you can take off your eclipse glasses. When you see this, you're gonna be able to see the solar corona, the solar flares of the sun, and I'm told that the moon looks like a black circle, like a black hole in the sky, and it's the most amazing thing you've, you've, you've ever seen. The other thing you're gonna notice is two bright dots, one to the top left and one to the bottom right of the sun and the moon. The one on the top left, that is the planet Jupiter. You'll be able to see planets in the middle of the day uh, during the total solar eclipse. You'll, Jupiter is in the top left. And then the bottom right, you'll see the bright planet Venus. Venus can be a little bit, a little bit uh, brighter uh, than Jupiter. So here in Montreal, we get about uh, about a minute and a half of totality, but this depends how far into the path of totality you are. You might only get 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute. So at uh, the, the point when the moon stops fully blocking out the sun, you'll have to put your eclipse glasses back on. So at this moment, you should you know, get ready. Uh, hopefully you're soaking in this entire moment, but get ready to put your eclipse glasses back on because the moon is gonna move and it'll no longer block out the sun. So right about now, okay, put your eclipse glasses back on. Uh, the sun will appear too bright in the sky, and now you can see the moon move away and cover less and less of, of the sun. So the rest of the eclipse, uh, I've sped up time here again, will last for another hour and 10 minutes uh, until the moon fully unblocks, unblocks the sun. Probably most people at this point, uh, the excitement will mostly be, be, be over, but some people might also still wanna, wanna soak this in. It'll continually get brighter and brighter and brighter. You'll need your eclipse glasses on again to continue to be able to, 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 to see this. The moon is blocking just a little bit, a little bit of the sun now. And in just a second here, it'll fully be over. The eclipse will be over. All these years of waiting and preparing for it will be over and right about now, the eclipse is over at about 4.36 p.m. in Montreal. So hopefully that 
uh, gives you a, a helpful play-by-play -play of what we're going to see here in Montreal on Monday, April 8th, and that you're getting very excited for the eclipse. All right, talk to you soon.